Two of the biggest names in boxing's welterweight division held a press conference to announce their upcoming WBA unification bout this week. Keith Thurman, who holds the super version of the title, is undefeated and confident that he can continue his run of form against the Filipino legend. It's not the first fighter that I sent into retirement. You're, you can't do this sport forever. I'm not gonna do this sport forever, okay? So at the end of the day, you know, in January, he stepped out of the, he was in the middle of the ring. They said, Manny, how do you feel? I feel good, I'm gonna fight again. Why? That fight took nothing out of him. This fight's gonna take something out of him. Senator Pacquiao, who holds the regular flavor of the WBA title, was as unflappable as always, welcoming the threats of his opponent and looking to prove he can still hang with the new generation despite being 40 years old. In fact, um, I'm so uh, thankful of what he said because it gave me more uh, uh, motivation, uh, determination to focus more and to prove that at age of 40, uh, I feel like uh, uh, 29. <laughs> Even though it is now 2019, the press still seemed interested in the prospects of a Pacquiao-Mayweather rematch, and both Pacquiao and trainer Freddie Roach were happy to pour some gasoline on that fire. He, he and I both feel bad about the way that, that performance came off. We didn't fight that well in that fight. We can do a lot better. We know that, and we want to prove it. Do you see a rematch with Mayweather? I hope so. That's why we're here. Keith Thurman and Manny Pacquiao will square off for the title of sole WBA champion on July 20th in Las Vegas. Unified heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua meets late notice challenger Andy Ruiz this weekend in his U.S. debut. The Mexican heavyweight formerly dismissed Joshua as robotic, something Joshua has taken issue with previously. <laughs> you don't want to talk because this robot, I will whoop him. You know, I, I thought he's a cool guy, do you know what I mean? I said, I go in there and I just beat him up slowly, but if he talks reckless, I will bat him. Like, I'll show him what this robot can do. So it's up to him how he wants to approach the fight. If he wants to talk reckless, then he'll be in for a proper scrap. But whatever the result, WBC champ Deontay Wilder has announced his next fight, and it isn't AJ. Instead, he's announced to fans that he will rematch Cuban Luis Ortiz, likely in the fall. Wilder stopped Ortiz last time they met, but not before Ortiz hurt him badly. It looks like the undisputed heavyweight title will just have to wait. And Morinari Watanabe, president of the International Gymnastics Federation, will run the boxing at the Olympics next year, now that the International Boxing Association has been barred from the event. <laughs> The main mission of the task force is to set up an appropriate environment for boxing. I would like to carry out that duty, which should have been done by the governing body. And in a quiet week for MMA, one championship made headlines when CEO Chatri Sichidong overturned the controversial split decision that saw Pitchmore Coke Pitchy Indy beat Giorgio Petrosian in the kickboxing Grand Prix at one, enter the dragon. In fairness to all parties, the one competition committee has formally declared the bout a no contest. Sichidong posted on social media. The referee did not adequately control the illegal clinching, resulting in multiple infractions during the bout. Although offered a rematch, Pitchy Indy refused, and Petrosian will now presumably progress to the semifinals unhindered. In the boxing, Jamel Herring upset Masayuki Ito. Ava Branitska scraped out a majority decision to defend her belt, and Jessica McCaskill outpointed Anahi Sanchez to add the WBA title to the WBC one she already had. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.